I'm Tara Monster, and I like to make things. Today I'll be showing you some screen printing. Let's get started. Today I'll be showing you how to print some zipper hoodies. The first step is to swap out the platen for one with the zipper gutter. That's better. The second step is to put our zipper hoodie on. making sure that the zipper is in the gutter. The next step is to get the screen. Today we'll be printing some seahorse unicorns. I found our screen. Here it is. Cute little seahorse unicorn. Let me line it up. Making sure it's nice and tight. And it looks like we've got to bring our platen out a little bit further as well. It slides out just like that. I have little marks down here, so I'm going to write where to put the shirt. We'll line it up with that. And see where we're at. Now that it's all lined up, the next step is to put in the ink. I use a special water-based ink that is 100% eco-friendly. Always stir it up a bit first. And a lot of people would put a piece of tape down here, but I'm only printing two of these today and I've been printing long enough that I don't think my ink is going to go all the way down to the bottom. Just gonna put some right there. I like to wipe the excess off on the squeegee. Always make sure to save every ounce of ink that you can. That's pretty good. And always cover your jar up because water-based inks dry out rather quickly. That's the downside of using water-based as opposed to Plastisol. However, they are so much easier to clean up and better for the environment. do a second one. Ta-da! And there you have it. Such a beautiful little seahorse acorn hoodie. And we were only able to get that perfect on contact print because we've got that nice zipper gutter. I'm going to go put it in the dryer. As soon as it comes out, the print is already set on the shirt. I use a forced air conveyor dryer and it drops it down right into this little box. This conveyor dryer makes it possible for my assistant and I to print on two different presses at the same time. And normally when this would be festival season, we would be doing a lot of that. But today I'm just printing two shirts for two online orders. And the last very important part now is cleaning out the screen. To do this, I put a piece of paper down and I have a special ink scooper to scoop it out. 
we'll want to get as much ink back into the container as possible. I don't know if it's because I have a little OCD or what, but it's extremely satisfying to catch every ounce of ink and get it back into the container. Just cleaning that squeegee right off. <laughs> Super satisfying. And this is the reason why I love water-based inks so much. Because all it takes to clean up is a wipe with a wet washcloth. I usually do the first wipe with it really, really wet. And then, you can see how much ink it picked up. I take it over to the sink, I wash it out, and then I do a second pass. Come back for the second wipe. And then I lift it up. See how much ink left behind there? And then, I just wipe the outside. Or I should say the bottom of the screen. And there you have it. From start to finish, this is how I print my shirts. And before we pack and ship this cool shirt we just printed, let's give it a little try on, shall we? Oh yeah, these hoodies are so soft and comfy. I just love them. And look how cute that unicorn seahorse is. This sweatshirt will be shipped out today to one of my online customers at revivalink.com. So if you want to get one for yourself, please click the link below in my description and you can go to Revival Inc. and get one of these too. Thanks for joining me today. If you liked today's video, please be sure to smash that like button. It helps me more than you know. And subscribe to my channel so that you can get a new video every day. Stay crafty and I'll see you tomorrow.